Alrighty, this is going to be my first tutorial with the Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. I love these colors so much. It's not right how much I love this palette. And I have the first one and I think that it's beautiful too. I love both of them equally. Like, they're my children. <laughs> but look at these colors. Which, this um, isn't going to look great because of the quality of this camera that I'm using. But, it's beautiful. And, um, here's the look that I came up with. And um, I hope you enjoy it. Keep watching to see how I did this. Bye, guys. Hi. All right, I've already put my foundation on, and um, I put Urban Decay's Primer Potion all over my lids and under my eyes as well. Um, it's just the original one. And we're going to go into a color called Pistol, which is right here. And it is a very... Um, it looks silver in the pan, almost pewter, but it has this great brown undertone to it, so it works really well for sort of medium skins who, skin people who think that they couldn't pull off silver, because I know I'm one of those. In the original Naked palette, there was a color called Gunmetal, and that was like straight up, you know, silvery, you know, blue, and it just did not work for me, so pistol is much much better so I'm gonna pack that all over my lid take the brush that it came with this flat shader brush Okay, just right on the lid, right on, just not past the crease. And now we're going to go into this matte color called Foxy, which is fantastic. I love that color because it's yellow based and it works so well for somebody like me who has a warmer uh, skin tone. I love Foxy. The highlights in the original Naked palette were more pink and that looked so weird on me. I love my original Naked palette, but it just looked really strange. We're going to go right under the brow with this and probably down to the crease so we'll be able to blend the other colors easily. Now we are going to go into Busted, which is kind of similar to Hustle from the original palette, but let me see. Yeah, Hustle is a lot more purple. This is way more brown than Hustle is. And we're going to take the fluffy side of the brush and we're going to dip right into that. And we're going to go in the crease with this color. I'm going to take some more of that color on this sort of kind of flat but fluffy shader brush. And I'm going to go on the outer third of my lid with it. Not even third. Just the very outside of it. I guess that would be called the V. Outer V. Now we're going to go into a color called Tease right here, which is a matte um, light plum shade. It's beautiful. It's much more purple than um, Buck in the original Naked palette. And we're going to go on the border of that busted uh, color right at the top of it so it'll uh, look nice and blended.
Okay, you can even go back into Foxy and clean up your brow bone a little bit more if you got it too high up. All right, now we're gonna go into Snake Bite with the shader brush. Get a little bit of that color on there and go right in the crease. <clears throat> and flick it up a little bit. And blend that out. Now another inclusion in this palette which I love is Blackout which is in the 15th anniversary Urban Decay palette and I love it so much I didn't want to run out so I'm great I'm so happy that this came with um, Blackout and I'm gonna take that other brush again that sort of flat fluffy brush I don't know, maybe this is a cheap-ass dupe for the MAC 217. I don't know. I got it at, like, Walgreens in a little kit. But we're going to deepen up that outer outer V just a little bit. Just barely. Okay, one more color, I think. Well... Let's go back into Busted and just go over all that crease stuff that we just did. And then tease again. On the border of it, just barely. All right. Now I'm going to do a little bit of uh, liner, and I'll be right back, just on the upper lash line with my liquid. This is from Jordana. Okay, I got my eyeliner on now. And as you know, a lot of eyeliner, especially liquid liner, gives off this weird shiny thing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like it. I like the precision that a liquid liner gives, but I don't like the shininess that it leaves behind. So I'm going to dip into blackout, and I have a Face Secret smudge brush here. Let's see if you can see what that looks like. Okay. We're going to go into blackout and go over the top of that and maybe diffuse the line just a little bit so that it isn't as crisp. Alright, now I'm going to take a Urban Decay 24-7 I glide on a high pencil in zero. I wish I had perversion, but I don't, so I'm going to use zero. I'm going to try to keep this as much Urban Decay as I can, basically. Okay, so now you have your waterline done. Um, now what to do on the bottom lash line? I don't know yet. Oh no, I don't know what to put. You know what, I'm gonna go in with blackout with that same kind of smudgy, tiny smudgy brush. And we're just gonna smudge that underneath and then we might put something on the top of that. All right, now I'm gonna take a bigger brush, wherever it is, 
This is another Face Secrets brush that you can get at Sally Beauty Supply. It's double-ended, and here is the smudger for that one. What's it called? Duo Eyeshadow. We're going to go into Busted, just on the very tip. See that? Tap it off, and run that underneath the lash line as well. All right, mascara. This is my um, Physicians Formula Organic Wear. I love this mascara. It's my favorite one. I'm going to use an e.l.f. blush. I don't have a whole lot of um, Urban Decay face stuff, but I do have a highlighter, so we'll use that too. This is an e.l.f. blush in Peachy Keen, which I love. I don't know if the color is coming off, but it's really beautiful. I love this, and I love the quality of it. I'm going to take my Eco Tools blush brush, which is like shaped like that. I love that. We're going to tap it in. And this is, um, what is this called? It's from Urban Decay. It's their highlighter. I'm not sure what it's called. Their cream highlighter um, in brown sugar. Whoa. <laughs> and I'm going to take um, this brush from Walmart <laughs> right here. It's an angled foundation brush. And I'm kind of going to... Tap it in there a little bit. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Oh yeah, ooh la la. Now, for lips, I already have um, a base on and NYX's uh, 1000 Years, which is a Mac Stone dupe, actually. Now I'm going to go with CoverGirl's um, Romance, their Lip Perfection Lipstick, looks like that. It's a pink, pearly pink, but a dirtier, darker pink, I would say. I'm going to put that on. Alright, and now I'm going to use the lip gloss that came with the palette called Naked. I kind of wish that this had come with one of those, um, I don't know what they're called, the honey infused ones, because I haven't tried those yet. I have two little um, samples of their Lip Junkie uh, lip glosses, and I just wanted to try the honey infused one too, but this is fine. Put that on the top. I'm always bad about squirting out way too much. Oh, one more thing. You got a contour. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot that. I'm just using Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which is awesome. Like I said, I don't have a lot of um, super expensive makeup, but the stuff that I do have, I really, really like. Alright.